in which ins is 13 and meshing in meshing there is icm software so let's see how to draw uh, simple geometry in icm cfd by using point line surface and volume So it will take few minutes to, to start. Let's see. Yes, it is starting. So it is ISIS release 13.0. Uh, it is academic uh, version for ISIS. This is window of ICM CFD and here you can see geometry meshing blocking edits mesh property constraint load sort solution output so we will deal with the meshing uh, geometry meshing edit meshing and output so first see geometry it is with start with the point then line surface and volume create body is nothing but the volume so start with the point so there are different options for a point one is a screen selection it means like this you can take a points on screen but it doesn't have any meaning how much distance are there so uh, such type of uh, drawing yeah, it is not used as per the correlation so so such type of uh, making point is uh, not meaningful so uh, we need to delete it it is for select all options so it is a delete one then again we go in the point say it is XYZ coordinate so it is most useful coordinate system because here we can have uh, we can edit uh, actual geometry as per our requirement just like uh, point 0.1 it is at 0, 0, point 0.2 it is at uh, 25 again third point in the y direction it is again 25 and last you can say it is a 0 y0 zero, so I will get one point so we can join this point with the another function that is create point so this is create point point one point two middle button 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 so likewise we can join now uh, it is only uh, edges so we make it a uh, surface with the simple surface so here option simple surface one two three four middle button either you go with clockwise or anti-clockwise but sequence should be same so it is a surface if you click the solid frame then you can see it is a surface okay now let's come again to the point suppose I need unfortunately uh, if I deleted two points and I need that point again so this is another person uh, options where curve end so if you click here and say middle button then you will get a another point that is called as curve end point then if there is a, a curve to curve intersection suppose uh, I will draw one line for that purpose here, here. and again I am going in a point 
here curve to curve inter intersection means i want intersecting point here so what i will do i will go to the curve intersection and i will select two curves then here i am getting the point okay so it is another function then next function parameter along curve so in which here suppose i want exactly uh, i want a point mid of this line so what i will do uh, i will select here i am getting exactly mid suppose it is parameter of 0.5 it means exactly middle so i will go for 0.25 so i will get uh, the point either here or here let's see here if i create 0.75 so i will get point at another end so likewise this is uh, creation of point by parameters then project point on curve it is another method so what i will do i will take i will select this curve and i will i want this point which point this point and this uh, this point on a curve so it is just a projection of curve okay so likewise it is another point same way it is a projection of point on surface that we will see in a another lecture series or i will draw one point okay so what i will do i will draw one point along z direction so at z i can say it is a 10 and i want somewhere here 15 uh, sorry 15 and 15 15 from x and 15 from y and 10 here here i am getting so it is exactly at middle so i will say 7.5 because at middle already we have one point so what i will do uh, yes here i am creating another point and i want to project this point so first select the curve here curve selection and select the point so that i will get projection of point on curve also so uh, here in the first lecture series we discussed about creation of point uh, by screen selection then with xyz and here base point with delta uh, here it it is just remaining so what how we can draw that we will see so base point with a delta means suppose i have one point here i am selecting base point and with a delta x 20 delta y 20 because z is another so what i will do i will select this point and say so here i am getting 20 because it is in so this is like a distance so instead of 20 if i go for 10 and 10 what will happen this just we will check here 10 by 10 okay likewise we can draw a point with by considering delta okay and if i take z also what will happens that we will see in the direction of z i will get uh, another point so it is uh, one of the way to draw a point on a curve base point location 2 it is another way parameters i can say point two location we need to give but uh, this option is not used as much so so this is a way to define different point in a geometry so basically parameters along curves are mostly used when we dealing with the cad model so this uh, here we finish uh, lectures first which is a deal with uh, geometry creation with point okay
थैंक यू